talk about you know your, your whole life. You know, you, you're a kid. You watch basketball growing up, and you get to this point where finally you're making this leap to the NBA. I mean, what what goes through a, a young man's head as you're getting ready for this big step? Um, just a dream coming to reality. Uh, pretty much my dream of this ever since we was little. Uh, ever since we first started playing on like five foot rims and stuff like that. The kind of dream of being in the NBA and now is just coming to reality. That uh, everything is coming to play. Like wow, this is a combine. The draft is in a month. Yeah, I mean, it's just a lot of mixed feelings uh, coming through these next couple of weeks. Throughout this whole process, you know, as a kid coming up all the way through through high school and college, who would you say have been kind of maybe the, the strongest influences on the player you become today? Probably my sister, because um, one, she was a, a role model just growing up. Uh, I kind of followed her shit and she played basketball as well, but um, her career was ended short with um, two ACL tears, so she really couldn't go on and play after that. So I just kind of like uh, played for her because um, she she was cut short due to injury, so I just try to play for her and, um, and just try to go off just for her. So having an older sibling whose career is cut short, does that make you appreciate every day you know, what you've got in the, in the talent and the, in the opportunity? Oh yeah, most definitely, because um, it basically it just shows the idea that you can't take nothing for granted or the only thing can be taken away from you. And um, I kind of look at it, I kind of go by that. <laughs> As a UCLA guard, you get a lot of the questions about you know, the guys that come before you have so much success. But, but how different are you from, from the previous UCLA point guards? Um, I'm kind of actually uh, similar. I, I, feel, um, I feel like I have a lot of explosiveness, like um, uh, Russell Westbrook and also the defensive side, like Drew Holiday and stuff like that. So I, I, I kind of see myself similar as them. Um, I really can't see any difference and all oh, I'm taller than them pretty much. Um, so and I got a little more length in them so that's pretty good much the only difference. There are a lot of point guards in this draft, uh, which could be maybe a problem for someone looking to get into the first round like you are. What separates you from maybe the other point guards who are vying for those draft spots? Uh, I feel my height. Um, I feel like I have a, lot, a good size over them, pretty average about two inches over all the point guards. So um, I feel like my height and my explosiveness and also my defense size. And, um, like I say, a lot of people don't know um, a lot of things I can do on offense. And I feel like um, I can also hold my own on my offense. Yeah, yeah.